So here's my motherboard and I've got my Bluetooth on it which will help me connect to my alarm. The next thing I need is a buzzer. The buzzer is what will act as my alarm. So here's my buzzer and I've got a cable to connect it. The last thing I'll need is a sensor. Can you guess which sensor we might use in this project? I'll give you a minute. You're right. We're going to use the IR sensor. So here's my IR sensor and I've got a cable to connect it. Now let's go ahead and make the connections. Okay guys, so here's a safety box that I've built. I've put my buzzer here and the IR sensor here. Every time somebody tries to take something out of the box, the IR sensor detects it and the buzzer will buzz. So let me place my very, very, very precious jewel into the safety box. Here I've got it. So let me quickly place this in. And show you how it works. Here's the app I've built. Let me connect my motherboard to it. There you go, my safety box is all ready. So as you can see, every time the safety box detects my hand, the buzzer buzzes. This is how you can build your very own safety box. To start building your app, log on to www.stemdc.in. The first thing to do is add Bluetooth connectivity and a list picker. Once you've done that, from the panel on the left, QT by Megablocks, add the infrared sensor or the IR sensor. Make sure you assign it to port number one and give it Bluetooth connectivity. Once you've done this, add another QT by Megablock, the buzzer. Assign it to port number two and give it Bluetooth connectivity. Once you've added all these blocks, don't forget to add the notifier. After doing this, go ahead and program your app. To start programming your app, the first thing you want to do is pick out the after picking and before picking blocks from the backpack. So here's my before picking and after picking block. Once you've added these blocks onto your screen, it's now time to program the IR sensor and buzzer. Pick out the on change event from the IR sensor. Every time the IR value changes, add an if then else block. Use the get IR value procedure to find out the value of the IR sensor. Every time the IR sensor turns true, we have to program the buzzer. So add the buzzer method and give it a value of 255. This means that your buzzer will now ring. Else, put the buzzer to a value of zero. So, every time the IR sensor detects a hand, it turns true and the buzzer buzzes. Otherwise, the buzzer does not buzz. Once you've done this, save and build your app and enjoy using the safety box. <laughs> 